Yeah, good afternoon. Mazia loves him. Good morning from here. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, good afternoon from here. Yeah. Via France. IPOB family members around the world, friends of Biafra, lovers of freedom, including our enemies. I welcome you all to this live broadcast today, the 4th of March, 2021. My name is Nenaya Anya. I am from Ihe Chiowa in Biafra land. And by the special grace of Chukwu Kikabiyama, I am the head of finance of indigenous people of Biafra worldwide. Today, I have one or two things to say. But before I go on, I want to use this opportunity to thank Chukwu Kikabiyama for giving us a leader an anointed leader in the person of Onye Ndumazi Namdekano. A great leader who loves his people, who has made a lot of sacrifice. I thank Chiko Kikabiyama for this. I thank Chiko Kikabiyama for making him for giving him to us that in spite of everything he keep moving he has gone through a lot from the time he was kidnapped by the DSS in 2015 he was taken to jail there in prison even when they sent helicopter to hoover above his where the stair where he was then with tear gas and everything, he survived. Even when they tried to poison him, he survived. He came out and again, they tried to bribe him, he refused. He said, all I want is Biafra. Give me Biafra and then I'll leave you alone. They thought he was joking. Again, after the day he was out of the prison for a short while, he was ready to appear in court. But they sent military to go and assassinate him. And he survived. There are many were killed. We did not see him until after one year in Israel when he spoke to us for the first time after that. Now think about it. That can only be somebody who is anointed by Chiko Kikabiyama. No other person. That is why we need to thank Chiko Kikabiyama for giving him to us. He has never failed us and he's not going to fail us. And at the same time, I pray that we all remember our leader in our prayers every day, no matter how short the prayer is. It's very important. Pray for our leader. Pray for our Eastern security people. Pray for the unknown gunmen. They are doing a great job. It's very important. And at the same time, I want to use this opportunity again to commend all those of us that stood by our leader from the beginning till now. It's not easy, but we believed in him. That's why we followed him. No matter what people are saying, we are there with him. I'm saying this because I joined this 
restoration of Biafra in 2012. And I will be here till the end. I will support our leader till the end, no matter what it takes, no matter how long it takes. The reason why I'm saying this is because some people that think that they know me more than myself are going about writing on Facebook or writing on WhatsApp about me claiming where they think I belong. But when you look at it very well, they belong to that very group that they think Nenaya belong. And why do I just don't listen to them? Because they are doing the work of the devil while I'm doing the work of Chuko Kika Abiyama. It's as simple as that. That is the difference. As if that was not enough, they will now decide to frame up stories black men trying to bring me down but they don't know me when that one failed they will concord one story just to say that Nenaya is not with our leader again they fail because they don't know that I'm doing the work of Chukwu Abiyama. Why they are doing the work of the devil. But one good thing I know about this, our struggle, is one thing. It is spiritual. You cannot be double standard and remain for long. If you are not clean, and you think you can go about to bring down your fellow people, those that you took out with, you will never last long because it's spiritual. That is why I decided to say this today. I cannot join something in 2012 and stay with our leader and then I try to go where it's not good. Nobody does that. I am with our leader since 2012 and i will be with him and support him till the end so those people that think that they can try to damage nenaya's name they are joking they don't know me they need to find out who i am that's why sometimes i ask myself whether some people actually know what we are doing whether they really know why we are in this they are killing our people. They are raping our mothers, our sisters, wives. Some are in jail. They will chain them to the bed. They will burn their hands and legs. Those are the people why I am in this to make sure that we are here to restore Biafra. If they know the reason why we are here, they will not be yapping on Facebook. They will not be yapping on WhatsApp because they are doing the work of the devil. Why I'm doing the work of Chukwa Kika Abiyama. So these are two distinct assignments. And they will fail. Just the way they have been failing. I know some of us are going through the same, but just keep on. Keep on doing the good work. Keep on doing the work of Chukwa Kika Abiyama. And in the end, we will restore Biafra. I want to use this opportunity to, to commend all the IPOB finance officers around the world. All of you, you are doing a great work. I say all of you. All the finance officers, you are wonderful including the treasure because the work of the finance officer is not easy but we are moving our duty or our assignment in this struggle if you are in finance department is to make sure that we raise funds is to make sure that we support our leader by raising funds is to make sure that anytime our leader needs fund that the fund is there this is our assignment we 
are doing well, but we need to double our efforts. We need to go around and call people in your zone when they do not pay, call them and find out why they have not paid and encourage them and remind them, talk to them. Just the way I am calling some of you to ask you why is the fund not yet remitted. Do the same thing with your members and call them and remind them. Tell them why they need to pay. I know it's not easy. I know it's a tough work. Yes, it is. But do we have any option? No, we don't. Dust yourself up, sit up, and do the assignment given to us by our leader. Forget about what people will say. They will talk. I am used to it. Try and be used to it as well. We have a lot of work in front of us. We must support our leader. And that we can do by raising funds. There should be inflow of funds every day for us to do what we are supposed to do. To take care of our people back home. To pay the legal fee, the consultation fee, all this. All this our people you see that they lift up from obi to all these places. What do you think it is? We do take care of them and make sure that they are out. It's our duty to make sure that we have funds. I commend all of you, like I said, in the finance department. But please, we need to do more. When people pay, make sure that you register their name and issue them with receipt signed. It's very important. As you pay the monthly donation, do not forget the ESN donation. They go hand in hand. You cannot go for one and leave the other one. Because we need both. Yes, we are all happy that our leader established the Eastern Security Network. But we need to support this by making your contributions. That's what we show that you like what is happening. We must support our leader. He's a great man. A good man. When you know him face to face, you know he's not just a good leader, but he's a very good one. He loves us. And we must return it back by supporting him. What we are doing is to save humanity. Is to make sure that Biafra is restored. Not just for those of them in Biafra land, including those of us in diaspora. Because our umbilical accord is home. We all think home. Forget about what some we pretend to do. Every one of us, we think back home. Endeavor to play your own role. The assignment given to you. Do not be in the group of the Brain Dance Syndrome Club. Because it's not going to help you. Like I said, our quest for freedom is spiritual. You cannot deceive the spirits. We owe it to the dead to make sure that we restore Biafra. We owe it to those parents, to those siblings that lost their loved ones in this our quest for freedom. We owe it to them to restore Biafra. And that is why I am here. And I will be here till the end. All those that are yapping that they think Nena belongs to somewhere, they are the ones that belong to that group they are thinking about. But pretending to be with us. You cannot be here and there. I am with our leader. You cannot be here and there. There is no in-between. It's either you are with us or you are against us. The dragon flag is up. And our leader said, it will not come down until we restore Biafra. Therefore, we have a lot of assignment. We have a lot of work to do. We should go and do what we are supposed to do. Encourage one another. Lift up one another. It's not easy. Yes, I know. 
it's not going to be easy. Yes, that we know. But do we have any other alternative? No, we don't have. Our destination is to restore Biafra. And nothing more. So choose where you belong. That's the way it is. And again, IPOB, we should be proud of ourselves. We should be. The way our leader set up IPOB, that's what makes up makes us different. Exceptional. Nobody can destroy it. Nobody has said. And we have four things that guide us why we are where we are today. Number one is we are focused. Nothing, do not allow anything to distract you. We are focused. And that is to go and get Biafra. Number two is determination. Our determination is something that is great. Because we are determined, that's why our leader went on to establish the instant security network to show them how determined we are. Number three, we are disciplined. When you are in IPOB, you are disciplined. That is the structure. That is the way our leader made it. And that is why in, around the world, people respect him. Forget about what some people are saying. Our leader is well respected, loved, and listened to. That is it. Discipline. When we do things, it's always different. And number four, is we are consistent. Consistency. That is why we are where we are today. And that is why with all these four things, we are unbeatable. And why is it so? Because that is the way our leaders structured the whole thing. Mold it up. So you cannot destroy it. So anybody that thinks they can be yapping and trying to bring confusion, you cannot because the molding of it, the structure of IPOB, you cannot destroy it. So make up your mind where you belong. For me, I know where I am with our leader. So all those people that are busy doing what the devil told them to do, they should keep on. Why I do the one Chuko Kikabiyama has given me to do. So, finance officers, I commend all of you. But we keep doing the work and improve every day and do what we are supposed to do. I commend every one of you. I remember in one of my announcements, I did say that the finance officers should compile the names of those that have paid their freedom and cultural levy. The names, the date, the year, the receipt number, and the amount. I have received some, some are not yet there, but I know that they will send it. We want to know those that are actually with us. Those that are doing what our leader wants us to do. It will be compiled and I will file this in IPOB headquarters of the, in the finance department in Germany. I will file it there for future reference. It's very important. Please, some people send their own without the receipt number. It's not acceptable. I want to see the receipt number. 
or else I will not even file it anyway. Finally, I commend all those that are paying their do monthly donations and the ESN. But some are seen going in Europe, in Asia, in Africa, and in the United States of America. America. Some states have not paid their own. They are still going. When people pay, release the funds because that's why they made the payment in the first place. Release it. Do not keep the funds. Or what? And when people pay and you forward the funds, in your next meeting, you show them the evidence that the amount that was sent. Always announce to them how much that was collected and how much you sent. This is a way of encouraging them so that they will do more. Do not keep any funds, please. Do not drag us behind. It's not acceptable. If you know you have not paid for last month, endeavor to do that. Very, very important. We need funds in what we are doing. Endeavor to make the work of the finance department easy for them. By cooperation is very, very important. No funds should be left in the account. Every fund in every IPOB account is IPOB money. It's not for that country. It's IPOB money. Coordinators have nothing to do with funds. It's only the responsibility of the finance uh, uh, officers, not the coordinator. Our leader has repeated this over and over again. Please, let's follow the instruction. We have but just one command. One. One leader. Only in Dumazinam de Kano, ordained by Tuko Kikabia. Just one. We don't have two. Only also call Sonas or also where. But we just have one. And he needs our cooperation, our prayers. And together, we will restore our motherland, Biafra land. Remember our leader, again, like I said, in our prayers, the ESN, and all the genuine IPOB family members. Not this quick part of the circle to us. But to go there and I will pick them all out one after the other. As we continue to do what we are supposed to do, as we continue to march forward, to encourage our people back home to know that we in diaspora are doing what we are supposed to do, it will encourage them. They will know that their brothers and sisters abroad are doing something. That's what they need, not discouraging them. And for those of you that are uh, principal officers, that our leader said that they should change, to signal, endeavor to do that. It's very important. We are in a very critical stage. From that very moment that our leader said that the dragon flag is lifted, the story changed. And we have to go by that. And I know, if we can come this far with our leader, there is nothing that we cannot do. It's only a matter of time and Biafra will be restored. And all of us, we have a story to tell one way or the other. But please, bear it in mind that we still have a lot of work to do. Do not be discouraged. Some will come to discourage you. Do not allow yourself to go to the section of the devil. Be on the path of Chuko Kikabiyama and do his assignments. And together, we help our leader to restore Biafra. I thank you all 
for listening to me. Thank you, Mazia Alozium, for giving me this opportunity. Enjoy the reggae. Thank you very much.